I know a time change just happened. Brody, I didn't switch the tra the shop clock so I could force everyone to work we, later. We got it, yep. Brody's like, did you know it's 5.30? Does he have somewhere to be? I'm like, no, Brody, it's 4.30. <laughs> no, no one switches the clocks. Maybe for a reason. And it's digger season, boys. Are we having fun? Loads yeah. of it. Loads of it. If you guys remember earlier in our YouTubing career, we did this job to the 64 foot digger. But basically, those holes are no longer round, really honed out. And the shanks are not staying true. So it can cause uh, weeds to escape through. And we don't want that. That's a no no. So, Brody, are you having fun? Blast. They're the same. So the new bushing don't matter. It's just the this black cast piece is, piece is what's honed out. Okay, there's a bushing inside of here, as you can see. But for some reason, the bushing don't wear. It breaks the bushing. And then it looks like this and makes the hole really oblong. I don't know if the camera shows it, but just trust me it is. So then it's lots of play in there, which then causes the shank to be able to twist and bounce and not stay true. So we are rebuilding 52 of them on this machine. Yeah, we're on the third row already. <laughs> are you really? No. Well, I see you got these on new. Yeah, then we're done. You, you got eight of them done. But we have a seed delivery. <laughs> <laughs> so this isn't a hard job. It's just very repetitive, isn't it, Brody? It's worse than a planter. It's worse than a planter. <laughs> so basically, what Jordan has in his hand is a big fancy tool that comes on the hitch of the digger. I almost said planter, but this is not a planter. So you put that all together, tighten that down. That compresses the spring. Then you can put either put the bolt in or take the bolt out. Yes. Oh. And if only it was that easy. It is that easy. Well, it is that easy, but then you got to put the uh, the shank on. Well, that's the easier part. That was my job on Friday. I'll do that job. I don't mind it. <laughs> I'm gonna catch you though. This is the part that we're replacing. We did this in 2020 to our 64 footer. This piece right here has gone up a third more in price. A third just about. So that's nice, inflation. Inflation, boys! Jordan, I need your stool. Oh, is that what you call? Oh, you, you've got my hardware. Here, here's a fun one where you get to move the whole bracket over because you can't get the bolt out against the frame. You got a routine, man. What are you doing over here? 
Well, I think it my nut. Ooh, she's getting used. <laughs> You're gonna ruin it. What are you gonna do? You could use a hand wrench. No. <laughs> you can do it on the second row. <laughs> so, what we've determined the first three rows of these, we're not doing the complete digger because the back two rows are actually not too bad at all. Uh, except for the wheel tracks. This is the fourth row where the wheel tracks of the tractor are at that are constantly in more compacted dirt. They seem to be pretty worse, so we're doing that one. Where this one ain't in a wheel track, he's just fine or good enough to not invest the money into it. Hey, people have been commenting where you been in the video. Where you been? Where have you been? Working off screen, I guess. <laughs> I love, for like a week he was in the in the semi because he was so sick. deathly sick that we didn't want him around us. Yeah. So that that was a week's worth. So fit three videos worth there. Well, you and you and Brody always just go off and work together. And That's upside to down, Brody. <laughs> oh, so now it's a three-man job. Apparently. All I'll right. Just, I'll just go home. <laughs> I'll be I'm just gonna I'm gonna use my left hand to do everything so it makes it look like I'm getting something done but yet I'm staying behind you it's the beginning of March and it's 66 degrees outside so we're gonna enjoy some fresh air and maybe it won't be so loud in here Ow. with that open you can show them later show them That's not good. That's not Jordan, good. Get the welder. Okay, I'm on it. But you're not on. Have you seen I, I any other? Have you seen any other disastrous crackages? I didn't know that was a con the bigger diggers. I know that's a common issue, but not the 45 footer. Are you done yet? It's not good. Yeah, I've been waiting on the the whole time. So. Here's your punch. So you missed it. I hey, see. so these things were a update kit for the 2210 digger for this exact issue. I don't believe that Deer offers this kit anymore. So we bought one of the last kits that we know of and brought it to our local blacksmith and had him stamp us like 15 of these things, literally. Because now we just filled a gap. Fix that crack a bit. And it's gusted it because right here is one factory. And we're gonna add one. So he just pulled the bushing out of there. This bushing goes in there. And that is how it was laying. Oh, and look at how egged that hole is. I'm sure that was getting 100% coverage compared to what it's supposed to That's be. That's what that bushing is supposed to look like in there. And then no play at all. So this little digger, we all just assume that it doesn't do very much work, but it all kind of comes down to hours on the machine, whether it's a small one or a big one. You're running the same hours. They're all doing the same amount of work. So this one's, I think a 2008 model. I can't remember for sure, but I think it's a 2008. So she's seen her hours. Well, just like that, 52 of them are done. I saved you the pain of the hours uh, spent here, but we got them all on. Everything looks good. We don't have any bent shanks. We did the first one, two, three rows, plus a couple uh, behind digger tracks in the fourth row. Now we got to do some welding. The other side is not cracked, which I do not understand why one side would. I don't know, but it, it is. And what else, Jordan? Wheel bearings. Wheel, Wheel bearings. bearings. And I think it, technically, I think it was parked away grease, so I don't think we really need to worry about that, but we should check wheel play. Someone stepped in grease. Oh, it was me. It was me. I don't know where you picked it up at, but. Yeah, I have anything, I we could just burn the whole shop. <laughs>
Wow, that's a nice wad. Unbelievable. Okay, are you grounded? Should be, somewhat. Tack it. Alrighty. The holes look really nice. Go big Swede welding job here. I would just creep out there because your weld will be from. We should we should drill a hole there properly. Well, after putting these kits on, I've never had one rebreak. I'll weld the top one. You want to do this upside down vertical forty five and <laughs> <clears throat> fill in over here if we can and. Uh, we'll we'll check back with this welding. Well, Randy's sick of the office, so him and Jordan are gonna go pick out a grove site, pick rocks, sticks. We're gonna wrap this project up, and then what? We gonna get another digger? It's we we definitely could be out in the field but this also needs to be done. But it's so nice out. Yeah, I don't want to get in the shop. <laughs> How would it go? I think I got a suntan from it. You know, a good welder don't <clears throat> use a grinder. Well, we got to repaint it, don't we? <laughs> He's always got a remark for everything, don't you? Yeah. When you get blamed for everything, you just come up with excuses all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'll do. Get some paint on that baby. Yeah. But it's uh I can just feel the heat radiating off of it. So let's uh check our wheel bearings. It was greased after last season, so that grease still should be good, right? Yeah. I gotta clean this up. It's gonna get loud. Don't be loose. Good news, guys. One isn't loose. Sounds nice. Tight? I think so. Can't even move it. We got to check tire pressure. That we do actually have to do. These seem to last a lot longer just due to it's a lighter implement. The uh, big diggers, eat man, they eat tires. Or blow the rim out. What are you finding? The rim is a, a weak point. Well, they're going to work on pumping tires. We're going to, we just uh, basis fixed some grain. We got a decent basis at one of the elevators. so. Not selling, but base is fixing, so we're gonna move some more corn on uh, this next, well, the rest of this week, and I doubt he'll get done this week, but gotta fill the overhead. We're gonna fire up big leg, go look over our bend situation. So we basically have hauled all of what I'll call our fun corn, the forward contracted corn. Now we're in the boat with everyone else with uh, the open bushels is what it is trying to get a game plan decent basis so we're gonna move some more out we feel the pain along with the rest of you guys which is probably like 90 percent of farmers out there i'm just fortunate that we forward contracted what we did okay there we're gonna go out of bend 24 start that we're gonna verify to make sure no one switched bins on me here wet leg overhead you don't want to be 
you don't want to make that mistake. Dumping on top of the beans again. Woo! That would be ugly. And we're also going to pull out of this bin, which is the side draw bin. Get this set. So I don't over amp anything. So without the other bend running, we're running about 23 amps. It runs about 20 empty. We're gonna fire up 26 unload. We're gonna we're gonna pull out of two bends. We like to always pull out of two bends and uh, just kind of blend it together in case that bend comes out of one or the other and don't hurt anything. All right, I think we got her set. We like to not go over 30 amps on the drain leg when we're filling the overhead just because the pipe isn't as big to as like to the wet bend so i feel pretty confident about that all right i think we are uh done with this it's painted up our welding we're gonna go on hook it and then uh hook this up to the dump cart because this week hopefully we get the excavator out i'm hoping tomorrow but i'm gonna say this week just for you know realistic expectations so we're gonna go get this hooked up to the dump cart because we have to relocate a rock pile like that setup it's so pretty oh this is tight this is way tighter than I like okay I think you're good he's nervous he's really looking if we're gonna scuff something I'd rather scuff that truck than my trailer because it can't get much worse on that Ooh, look at that Jeez. Louise. We're definitely going to hook this up on this machine in case mass deconstruction of the hitch happens again. God, I hope not. I'm kind of over that problem. I'm going to want this as tight as possible too. Yeah, that should work. You're a heck of a, heck of a man to lift that. <laughs> Brody power. Wow, this didn't do very good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'll we'll put it this way next time. There you go. It's junk. We're ready to haul rocks. Rocks? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Big rock pile. I wonder how the tire PSI is on the unit. <laughs> we'll have to check them, I suppose. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get this loaded up. We do have some fabricating to do. We lost the uh, plate on the quick catch. So we're gonna try and get that fixed before this heads out to the rock pile also. But I'm gonna put it on the trailer and hopefully Eric has the truck ready to hook up to it shortly so we can get it in the shop. feels good this this feels good right here it 
it, Rob's brought it! So much better than a tractor. So much easier, too. I don't care what Dad says. He's gonna fall in love with this, I guarantee you it, because now it becomes a one-man job to move this around rather than a two. So you can very easily transport this with minimal help needed. Or no help needed. Got the truck ready to come out they uh, service this so this is ready to go to work for the year and now he's cleaning the floor where the digger was all ripped apart yes she needs some dinosaur bones before we uh, go down the road with it and I really feel like that green light should be turned off by now I should probably go check on that make sure everything's working as it should this is how good my internal clock works. It literally just shut down right as I'm getting here. Now I can't check to see if the gates were plugging. They, if they get a chunk in it, if this runs too long, it's normally a good sign that maybe a chunk of material or a uh, hot spot or something let loose in the grain bin. You hope not. It don't happen all the time, but occasionally you'll get a chunk of something that'll plug the gate. Just gotta ram the gate closed and open a couple of times and. These bends actually have the bend sump grow in, so if that would happen, we could fire those up. And that one also has that. But, overhead's full, ready for Steve tomorrow. So we'll shut the leg off. Shut this place down. Also guys, if you like the, the hoodie I'm wearing, it is a new release uh, on farmfocus.com in the link in the description. Uh, you'll find our website that'll get you to where you need to but this is definitely by far my favorite one so go check them out if you want to support the channel and pick yourself up some nice merch huh. it worked first try This weather has just got everyone in such a better mood and just want to be out in the field and do something. Even though we're still, believe it or not, as beautiful as it is and we could be out in the field like rock picking, honestly you could go dig a field and plant it right now, uh, except while well, it freezes at night. But uh, planting date, we cannot start planting corn here for insurance reasons until April 12th and I quite honestly don't think you'd want to go earlier than that anyways just because of them cold nights that can nip you. But, we're still a month away. But it's crazy with the uh, weather like this. Don't feel like we're a month away yet. Hello. You ready? I'm ready to get back out in the fields. Did you believe it's six o'clock already? Feels like I know, cold. time change just happened. Yeah. Brody, I didn't switch the, ch the shop clock so I, I could force everyone to work we, later. We got it, yep. Brody's Keep like, going. did you know it's 5.30? Does he have somewhere to be? I'm like, no, Brody, it's 4.30. <laughs> no, no one switches the clocks. Maybe for a reason. <laughs> what do you see? Devastation. Looks like, see the coil wrapped up in the one hole? That, those threads are shot, you know that. This is yeah, falling. it's busted off in there or something. Sitting near falling off. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. Looks like we have more than just building a plate to do. Mm. So that's, uh, this is supposed to have a plate over it covering all the uh, unhooking components here for the bucket. You want to tell them what Dad found from Cat? for how much this plate cost, do you know? Was it 600? 700. 700? 700 dollars for a metal plate with four holes drilled in it right here. Like what, how, why? Why? Because it's yellow. It, besides labor into it, one dollar in metal, two, I'll give it five. I'll give it five bucks in metal <laughs> and about 15 minutes of torching. Yeah. So we're gonna make one. Yeah, for that price. <laughs> I'll make 10 of them and sell them for half price. Link in the description. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, there's lots of this thing. Seals leaking. That's why all this is wet. Doggo. I think it's when he gets into the rhubarb with the trees here and scars this all up and then it it's not just seals I have a feeling I think it's the what's that called the bore the piston it's the been, rod it's been scratched yeah look at the that rod. yeah there's look at that one Ooh. that's the one right there I guarantee you that uh, has done damages to the yeah. seals that's on you Doug I'm serious I'd like to just weld the plate in there we could, we're not we could stack out. up parallel arms. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Be done. Oh, wow. Well, before we go play in a rock pile, we got to do something. Because that could really remodel things. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think we're going to leave this for tomorrow and maybe next video project. I know we will be getting this stuff out to the field shortly. But it's the end of the day, and i got to get home and... Uh, sell a vanity actually from the remodel project used one so thanks for watching i really appreciate it please uh subscribe if you would we do uh really appreciate that also so we'll see you in the next video